Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Tac Team Naples with uh, the Chris beating a Roomba. I don't eat those anymore. I'm you done. You notice what's going on in Denmark? He, colla <laughs> he collapsed to Rebels, and now he's 100% sieged by Sweden. Huh. Sweden? That is just a rude thing to do. Yeah, he saw a weak neighbor, and he's like, eh, let's eat him. Nom nom nom. He found his yeah. crisps right there. His Denmark right, cool. crisps. I'm going to unpause, and I'm going to go kill this army. All right, kill him. This is up to you. I'm going to sit back and slurp my coffee. All right, I'm going to do some shift consolidation because that's something I like to do. I don't mind slowing up the recovery rate when you're already at half morale, like half manpower. You just like the having thousands of troops together. Yes, because there's only so many. There's three regiments, right? So only five of the infantry in the front row can actually engage. Right. So the two that are like at 300, don't, they don't even matter. We want they don't get in involved, front. yeah. Although I have I've kind of gotten into this bad habit where I will take... Really, really and he weak. crushed. I'll take really, really weak regiments, and I'll, I'll run them back into my own territory, so they can recover at full speed. But unfortunately, the AI follows you. The they AI go for the goes, weak ones. Yeah. They they go nuts when they see a zero regiment army moving around. They will kill it. Like so, are you noticing that France and Castile are sieging Lithuania, while Lithuania and Hungary sieges Castile? That's the AI. They're so far apart. There's no way those armies could ever fight. They're, they're on the other sides of Europe. What the hell? <laughs> That's the AI for you, Shen. It's interesting. Artificial idiocy. Yep. Well, we've, we've increased our prestige by about 20. How high do you think we can get it in this war? Because we'll get a little bit in the peace deal. Oh, I'm thinking maybe negative 50 or so. Mm. Oh, Lithuania's coming over. Okay. We'll have to retreat from this fight now. We lost uh, 0 0.04 prestige, Shen. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I can feel that in my pancreas. So do you want to lose 50 military or 10 prestige? <laughs> 10 prestige. Okay. And despite all of this, despite 45 war score and them being at 10.6 war exhaustion, no white they piece. have high enthusiasm. Oh, he will take white piece. Look at that. Who will? Venice? Venice. All right, we let's get let's get out. White, white piece. Let's do it. What? Why? GG. No, we want we Good wanted war. land. Good war. GG. We wanted land, don't we? <laughs> Why would you want land? That's just being we greedy. We wanted to take Verona. Denmark's bankrupt. Oh, we took a loan. Why are we taking loans? Because of reinforcement. So he'll give us Pisa, but he won't give us Verona. Negative thirteen reasons for Verona. Did you want anything else in this war? Um, Pisa and Verona, I think, are totally fine. Were okay. we going to take Verona ourselves and then sell it to Milan, or...? Yeah, did you want to sell it? I don't know. We could keep it. It's up to it's you. Lom it's Lombard. They'll buy it. So, I think we should take it ourselves so we don't have to pay any Diplo points. Okay. Because they don't have a core on it. We're taking um, some losses here, but... You're, you're losing your battle, aren't you? No. Oh, here comes reinforcements. Okay. It was kind of a long one. Milan's not being very supportive. They're at fifty nine percent. Yeah. So they weren't nearby. I'm surprised Just, he even helped, considering his yeah. attitude. Well it's in his land, that might be why. Hmm. Hungry well, we have slow Hungary's getting wrecked. Oh my goodness. And Protestant zealots, Protestant zealots in Trier, <laughs> thirty-one thousand. Oh my goodness! Why doesn't he just give up? Just be like, screw it, I give up. I'm Protestant now. Oh, because he's an Archbishopric, of course. Oh no! Can they even do that? Can Archbishoprics even accept a conversion to different religion? I don't know. I've never played as one. Because that's kind of the point of an archbishop, because you are a theocracy. So switching religion would be weird. Alright, so the goal here is, okay, we can get the two. Why can we suddenly get it? Mm -hmm. Venice is very much Co sieged. Coalition war is no longer listed. Did he leave? He, he can't leave the coalition. No, look. Look at their enthusiasm. Coalition war is gone now. It's, it's gone from the enthusiasm, and it's gone from the peace offer. It hasn't been long enough for, uh... It hasn't been five years, so why would it be gone? 
maybe it's just a fixed number of years that it's in in place. Hmm. Okay. Well, they're that... just they're just trying to force wars from ending quickly. Well, let's do some other stuff to get prestige. Then, what what can we do for prestige? In the peace deal. Um. Really, it's just the cheapest stuff is going to be an old treaties. Okay. Three each. That's worth it. Who do we care about? Lithuania, maybe? Bohemia. Lithuania's eastern text. They're always going to be a bit of a pushover. Okay. So 50 Diplo points. We get Verona to Naples. We get Pisa to Tuscany. And uh, they end all treaties with Lithuania and Bohemia. Beautiful. And they give us 10 ducats. Cool. All right. Negative 70 prestige. And we go up to negative 57. All right. Nice. Okay. And then now, we'll sell this to... We're going to sell it. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's always better. It's 10 Diplo versus 10 Edmund, or 20 Edmund. Mm hmm. Isn't that silly? Like, why is there that discrepancy? What? They won't buy it. Hmm? Is it because they're disloyal right now? It won't even tell me why they won't. Sell province to Milan. Is, is being annexed. annexed. Ah. Oh. All right. Oh. All right, let's core it. Um, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. there's a problem here, Shen. I forgot about something. We are at peace. The Emperor is at peace. We have land that's part of the Empire, don't we? Is this part we... of the Empire? No, this is Venetian land. Remember? Wait, no, it is. You're right, it is. Oh, goodness. Part of the Empire, so at the very, like, he's gonna, he's gonna do the thing. Unlawful territory. No, but we're his allies. He won't do it to his ally. He could. He won't. He likes he us. He won't do it. Okay, if if right, you're above 100, he won't do it. All right. Hope so. So we're just going to core it then, yeah? Core it. Wow, we have a lot of war exhaustion, Chen. Well, it'll burn off, right? How fast is it going away? 0.15. That's pretty good. Yeah. A little bit of peace would be good. Where should we position our armies to lower the uh, rebel faction problems? What rebel factions? Oh, the stuff in the outliner. 20, 10, 30, and 10. Oh, also, I, disabled, I just disabled all that. I don't... Poland has gone up to uh, friendly. How about that? Okay. Why Why did you want Poland? Um, It was kind Oh, nice. Maryland navies. It was kind of an idea that if things with Austria weren't able to be repaired... Because remember, they were getting pretty dire. They were down to like plus 60 at one point. And if things with Austria fell to the floor, he would have been a good ally to uh, use against Austria. But Austria is now Tech 9. I don't think I really want to fight that. Wait a minute. Galicia became vassals of Castile. Wait, Arumba, weren't they vassals of Portugal? A long time ago, yeah. They were offered vassalization. How do they get free of Portugal? I don't know. Some war, probably. Could it Those have been when... Uh, peace deals are crazy. I, I would recommend know. you get relations up with Castile. It's getting kind of low. I? I should? Yeah, it's your episode. Oh, my, oh I, I thought it was just related to the war. Pomerania took Bornholm and Gotland from Denmark. Kind of weird seeing those islands green. No unrest, no unrest. Interesting. Pomerania is doing well. So you wanted to build the thing that gives us more relation slots, but at the same time, we have so many buildings we need to build, and we're not. Actually, we're you know what? We're, we're still at full maintenance. Come on. We're not. We're not that far ahead of time on stuff. Right now. Why are we at full maintenance? We're there not. We, go. we were. <laughs> well, this is your fault. I'm not. Uh, I'm just eating potato chips. Oh goodness. No, I'm not actually, but... You know, I feel like the one thing that they changed... Okay, remember I used to hate unrest, or I used to hate revolt risk, it used to be called. Mm-hmm. But the one thing that they changed about it that I don't actually like at all is that... You remember how you used to have um, a taxation and a production penalty tied to the revolt risk in a province? Yeah. The higher the revolt risk was, the less production you got. Mm-hmm. And then they, they changed it to unrest, and then they added in local autonomy. Right. And and now you can have 1,500% unrest, and it has no effect at all on production of the yep. province. So the people are really pissed, but they're still doing all their work. 
I don't like that. I feel like it should still have some sort of a scaling production pal penalty for high unrest. Because well, you're, you're like, free to have an opinion. It just doesn't make sense. I know, I know autonomy represents... High autonomy represents low production, but at the same time... Oh, did they, did they add the Kremlin? Or they could just make it so that high unrest in a province increases autonomy, like yeah, slowly. I think that'd be good. Maybe just any unrest increases autonomy slowly. Like if you have 10% unrest, then autonomy goes up by some small amount each month. 10% is probably a little high. I, I, I would even say as low as 1%. We'll make it a scaling thing. Maybe for each 1% revolt risk in a province, autonomy goes up by 0 0.01. Yeah, that makes sense. So if you have 10, it would go up by 0.1 per month, offsetting peace. Yeah, I think that Something makes a like lot of that. sense. It just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's... Yeah, do you see, do you see Moskva? Because it looks like they added the Kremlin. Hmm. You see that? Yeah, has that not been there before? I don't think I've... Maybe it was, and I'm just... I might be blind, Arumba. That's possible. Hey, Shen, you remember those Orthodox Zealots in Corfu? Corfu? Yeah, they're still there. Gosh, was occupied by rebels. I thought rebels. you said they were going to teleport. In 1491. I thought you said they were going to teleport. I know. I don't know. Twelve years ago, they're just partying. They're having a party. Sweden took all of his lands from... De all of his cores from Denmark, by the way. But he didn't take anything else, which is interesting. He's being very reserved. This is not the Sweden I'm used to. That's good, though. I like stable countries. Oh. You mean, like, Naples? Naples is pretty stable. Yeah. It's not like well, we hey, just look. had a civil war or anything. Bogomolist heretics are beating up Tuscany. <laughs> Goodness, Tuscany. <laughs> oh, he's just... He's never having a good day, is he? Do you think he's going to be loyal after we annex Milan? Probably. Well, I think what we should do is let him um, lose, and then... Kill the rebels to get plus 10 relations. Wait for the rebels to succeed in sieging it, then let them move to another province, and then we go attack the army. By attacking the army as it's sieging, we get def defended our territory, mm -hmm. and then we can unsiege the province from for plus 25, liberated our province. Sounds good. That might give us enough to actually annex them. It's worth a shot. The, the, we won't actually have any progress towards annexation because... Um, the next vassal penalty would be negative three, and our progress would be plus three, so. Mm. We could get a statesman, though. Is there one available? There is not. But maybe there will be by the time we're able to hit the button. Oh, hey, look, the coalition is going to get oh. bigger again. Oh, good, coalition. But there actually is no coalition right now. Why? Because we destroyed it, remember? Oh, there, there we is. go, coalition. Yay! Okay, declare an Augsburg. Make it happen. Yeah, we should attack him. We don't have any CV. Are you serious? You tricked Munster, what? Bremen, the Hansa, Burgundy. Why in the hell would Utrecht join that early? They're like, we're a one province miner. We have seven base tags. We want to attack you. That was really bad. Isn't the coalition supposed to be a defensive thing? Like, that's the idea behind the coalition is if you attack any of them, you have to fight all of them. Yeah. France wants our trade power again. Screw off. <laughs> You mean you didn't accept it? I no! Accepted. Oh, no! <laughs> no, I just Don't do that! <laughs> uh -oh. We should accept. Francis is annexing Bourbonnais. Okay. But he's still going to keep Auvergne around, because that 454 is just too good. We're so close to being able to create Italy, you know. Well, we do have to annex the Vassal. <sighs> yeah, but two techs, two techs and integrate... Tuscany How would you feel about fabricating on Mantua? So we could declare on him. Because I think he's going to full annex Ferrara, don't you? Yeah, do you, are you saying you want to fabricate? Fabricate on um, Mantua, and then we can declare on... Oh, 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 hold on. Pause, pause, pause. The Knights of St. John of Jerusalem. Being driven from the island of Rhodes by the Turks, the Knights wandered homeless until 1530. Let's see. Conferred upon them the sovereignty of the island of Malta. Give Malta to the Knights. No! No! <laughs> Hell no! What are they thinking? We get one stability, but no. We do? We get stability? If we gave them the, the island. We're not going to give oh. them the island. I thought we got one stability for saying no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell, yes. Knights. Yes. Give away your land 
or don't give away your land and get free stability. That sounds reasonable. Uh. Everyone's joining the coalition. Do you want to declare on it? What's well, it look if like? We, if, if we were to attack it, who would we attack? It's mostly Western, the Westerners. It's not anyone near us. You mean the Northerners? Right, sorry, Western, Northern, same thing. What if we support rebels in Burgundy and then declare war in Burgundy? Sure. Wait, we can't do that because we were integrating. That's right, same problem oh. as before. Oh, right. Well, if we would build an embassy, Arumba, get it's an extra diplomat. Fault. We don't have any money. I thought you were going to kill those rebels. Well, Tuscany is too good. <laughs> He's like, you, you suck. I did it myself. Well, they're, they're still rebellious, even though they're really, really weak right now. Bohemia just flipped Protestant. Interesting. Interesting that his land has flipped Protestant from those uh, centers of reformation, even though they're nowhere near him. There's one in England, there's one in Norway, and there's one in Trier. But for some reason, those three have flipped three provinces in Bohemia. You see that? Hmm. That's pretty crazy. They're supposed yeah. to go for the, the lands that are next to them first. Nah, I've whatever. Not, I've not had good luck with that whole thing. Like, every time I've tried to do Center of Reformation, in, in my most recent campaign, I was... I exiled myself into the Caribbean, and... It doesn't say it anywhere. It says you'll gain a, an important center of, of trade or whatever it's called, but it doesn't actually give you one. Mm. Oh, there goes Modena. So we can't fabricate on Mantua anymore. Sad day. We can fabricate on Ferrara maybe, but we have a truce. We actually, um, mm -hmm. I we had a claim. Didn't mm -hmm. we have a claim on Modena? Oh, good. Do you want to fight 11 rebels or lose 25 prestige? By the way, our legitimacy has dropped by 30 since our king took over. It's thanks to our prestige. He's pretty crappy, isn't he? Hmm. I think we yeah. fight the rebels instead of losing prestige here. What province? Verona. Can we get there? Verona. Verona. That sucks. Uh, we do have transports, so yes, we can get there. Okay. It'll take a short period of time. Um, Roma... I imagine will not give us access. Ooh, screaming kid. Modena will not. Yeah, we gotta use the transports. Okay. Hey, but Verona is cord. Yay! What does that do for us? Makes us more money and manpower. Mmm. You know, we could lower autonomy there. What do you think? I think not. Aw. No. 70% progress, Neapolitan pre peasant rebels. That's going to tick away as war exhaustion goes down. Did our hunter Did tradition die? general die? Are oh, you kidding me? He, he was first. only around for a few months. What was he around? Like two years? That's it? He what died first. What a joke. That was a Hold waste. On. That was 25 legitimacy that we threw away for that guy. And he's dead. Did uh, How long has that pop-up been up? Do we have time to land more troops? You better. You know it would be faster if you just dock the ships back it's and forth? It's not true. It's not true. Yes, it is. It takes like two days to dock the ship instead of you know, two weeks. It does not take two weeks. It takes time dependent on how long they've they've got to travel. It's the same thing. Look how fast those ships moved for you. It's amazing. They're already there. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, you ready for the rebels? Yeah, do it. I love how Milan's just watching. He's like, no, nah, they're your rebels. You kill them. Is that what he sounds like? Yeah. Doesn't it sound like Milan? Why is, why is Austria coming into Milan? Because he wants to kill rebels for us. He's our ally. That's very kind of him. I wouldn't have expected him to do that while we're at peace. Poland has refused like three unlawful territory requests in the last couple months. I see that. What did Poland take? He took Niederlausitz. He took a bunch of Bohemia. Yeah. Niederlausitz, Rokla, and Ratibor. Interesting. And they're all unlawful. They all have positive unrest. Well, they won't last that long. Bohemia is nice and weak now. He lost half of his land. <laughs> oh, tech up time. Ready for Diplo Tech 9? Yes, we need to build more boats. Okay. We need more money, Shen. We have no money. We need trade ideas. I told you we need money. You need to start making us some money, man. 
I'm gonna well, have to crack hard. the whip. We're, we're losing money again. <laughs> this damn, damn reinforcement. <laughs> well, apparently it's that time of day. By the way, the Ottomans not helping Tunis. Look at Tunis get crushed. Look at that. That is Sweet. hilarious. Sweet. So do you think the Ottomans are actually going to fall apart to their civil war? That would be cool. You know what else I'm thinking is we might want to go attack Tunis. Since he's got we, no uh, ally. We could rival them. They have negative 95% of our army. We could get prestige. We don't even have to take land. If we rival them and we do the humiliate, we get 30 uh, oh, PP yeah. as well. That's the one right there. Rival. Done. Sold. All right. Well, you going to remember that for next time? No. Fair war. <laughs> What what uh, CB are we gonna use? We're gonna have to fabricate. Anaba or Bizarre? Let's go for Bizarre. Okay. All Tune right. Is being fabricated. Now we'll remember. Sounds good. All right. Cool. Well, we'll see you tomorrow then. Right? I think you brought this one in actually. I did. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. See you soon.